Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Techwiz Tim, aka Tim, back here another banger, y'all. Let's go. The today's video title: iPhone 16 could get a major AI boost thanks to the to the M2 Ultra chip. What you need to know. This was posted two weeks ago, by the way. This year is said to be the year the iPhone goes hard on AI. Rumors say that not only will be the iPhone 16 come with the range of AI-powered features, iOS 18 will also reportedly have a heavy emphasis on AI. And according to the new report, Apple will, will be powering those AI features with some help from the M2 Ultra chip. Previously reported, claimed that Apple would be emphasizing on device AI with the Apple A17 Pro doing all the work itself and without having to send annual information to cloud service. Unfortunately, the list last report from Mark German and Bloomberg patient, patients, patients are very different picture, meaning some incoming AI feature will have to be processed by external service added by them to Ultra Chip. According to Grumman, Apple is using high-end chips similar to those designed by, for the Mac into a cloud computer. And then, um, those designed with a Mac into a cloud computing server, these servers will be will then apparently be able to process the most the most advanced AI tasks coming to Apple devices, the first version of these servers will be using them to Ultra, which is powered by Mac Pro and Mac Studio with the future version could be powered by the brand new AI. Let's see what I stop at. The brand new tasks. Other features also process directly on iPhone, iPad, Mac devices, Grandma and specify the simple AI tasks like summarizing notifications or messages could be done on device. The more complicated tasks are required to use of the cloud. So he suggests gener generating images, summarizing long news articles, creating creating long form responses in emails, for example, where the cloud may be required. Be sim sim similarly, the rumor uh, AI upgrade for Siri would likely require a connection to cloud as well. All the rumors so claim for c so far claim that Apple is emphasizing on devices AI for privacy reason because data can't be inter intercepted or inappropriately accused if it stays on your phone or computer. The Siri and Apple have been taunting on, on privacy based. Pro Philosophy for the past several years, a year, server based AI seems identical to those ideas. Sources claim that Apple had been working on a server project with co components designed to ensure privacy, user privacy, codename ADC, or Apple chips and data centers, while many of specific aren't known. This apparently involved an approach called Secure Eclau, e -E -E AVE. That can isolate that in, in event of breach. Apple will also rely on its own data centers at first, though the capacity capacity will probably be, be both lost by third party facilities at some point in the future. Gehrman claims that there this that this plan has been in the works for around three years with Apple accelerating the time timeline after AI started hitting the, the mainstream at a, all the better to the better. Compete with its rivals, including Google, Gem, and ChatGPT. How this changed Apple AI plans is unclear, though it would explain it why it seems to have fallen behind, like the Google, Microsoft, in the AI space. I won't know for sure what's going on until Apple actually announces it, its AI plans to the public. It's likely that we hear the first of these ideal details at WWDC 2024 next month through our early information may not be announced until iPhone 16 launch later this year. In the meantime, be sure to check out our iPhone 16 and iOS 18 hubs for all the latest news updates about the iPhone plans for the rest of the year, AI included. All right. Let me know what you guys think about this article about the iPhone 16 could get a major AI boost thanks to them to Ultra Chips, what you need to know. Let me know what you guys think about this article. Links to the article will be down below. I appreciate y'all to another video of mine. Um, what I think about this article that AI is is, is some, not something to be played with because um, it could get really serious and good and bad. 
It could be used for good, also for bad, but you just gotta wait and see what iPhone releases and keep y'all's privacy secure and safe in the cloud, even during, even if it, if there ever be a data breach. I speak of that there won't be a data breach, but you never know with technology. Top secret because I have iPhones. Yes, and my friend Bobby Warren has iPhones, so it'd be top secret. So they won't release it. Set up a passcode. Just set up a passcode. And do Face ID on your iPhone. That's another thing that Bobby's saying. If it's lost, you could try. You could try tracking down. Find my iPhone. Find my. Find my. Like Bobby said. All right. You can find it online on your computer, MacBook, tablet, computer, stuff like that. To so track your iPhone, see where they left it. All right, that wraps it up for today's video. To the next time, folks. Caps and Cold Jake, put it beautiful, but actually, we chat to me, Sanjay. Deuces and take care and be safe. Have a blessed night. Bye bye, and see y'all next time. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.